By 1887, the Gulf, Colorado and Santa Fe Railway, which was a subsidiary of the Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe Railway, had expanded from its starting point in Galveston, Texas, northward to Purcell, Oklahoma, northwest to Weatherford, Texas, and northeast to Paris, Texas. The railroad decided that the more centralized city of Claiborne would be a good location to put a new heavy repair shop to replace the smaller one at Galveston, Texas. Completed in 1899, the Claiborne Shop Complex consisted of a 24-star roundhouse with a 60-foot turntable, a 120-foot by 340-foot machine shop, a 63-foot by 340-foot transfer table, 90-foot by 340-foot foundry building, which held the tin shop, blacksmith shop, and boiler shop, a 90 by 120-foot coach repair shop, and a 80 by 300-foot freight car repair shop. By late 1903, there were close to 1,500 people working at the shops. In 1904, a major fire broke out in the coat shop. Seven passenger cars were lost, along with other machinery. It was soon rebuilt, and over the years, the complex was enlarged. Examples of this include 12 stalls added to the roundhouse for a total of 36 stalls. In 1908, an 85-foot turntable was installed. An air brake shop was built in 1918. The powerhouse was enlarged in 1929. And in 1946, the turntable was enlarged again, this time to 120 feet. Between 1946 and 1948, as diesel locomotive numbers increased on the railroad, diesel servicing facilities were added to the shops. In the 1950s, the Santa Fe decided to downgrade the Albuquerque locomotive shop and split the diesel repair work between Claiborne and San Bernardino, California. During the 1970s and 80s, Claiborne Shops became well known for his locomotive rebuild programs, which will be covered in more detail during the second part of this video. The shops were officially closed by the Santa Fe in 1989 and were sold to Helm Corporation, which was a locomotive rebuilder and leaser. The shops were sold again in 1992 to Gunderson Rail Car, which was a railroad car manufacturer, which was taken over by Greenbrier Corporation, which still owns the shops. If you enjoy our videos, click the like button, ring that notification bell, subscribe to this channel, join our Facebook and Twitter pages, and keep up with what's going on. You can also help keep this train moving by becoming a Patreon supporter. Links are in the description.